Whether you're a graphic designer, photographer, filmmaker, writer, or any kind of creator, showcasing your work in the form of a super cool portfolio video is gonna help you stand out and land the gigs you've always wanted. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process to create a standout portfolio like this one in minutes, even if you have no video editing experience. Sounds amazing, right? Let's get into it. The first step is planning your portfolio. There are two things you wanna keep in mind while you're planning. First, what skills do you wanna showcase? And second, what gigs are you trying to land? Remember, this is a short portfolio. You wanna keep it under a minute. The benefit of this is that it can get you noticed so much quicker than if you have to send your potential clients to a website. But what it means for you is that you wanna to try to get as specific as possible. So let's say you're a photographer, try to narrow that down. For example, do you wanna get booked for portrait photography or landscape photography? Because this is such a short video, you want to stick to one niche. And if you're someone who has more than one skill, you can always make more than one portfolio. Once you have an idea of your niche, go through your work and pick out the best examples. If you're struggling with this, think about the projects that you enjoyed the most, because those are the type of gigs that you want to get hired for again. So I've gathered a few videos and my niche is going to be travel videography. The next step is to head over to invideo.io and find a template. So you're gonna to wanna to sign up for a free account if you haven't already done so. And then once you're on the homepage, all you have to do is search portfolio and we'll get a ton of amazing options. So let's go ahead and look at a few examples. Here's one for a graphic designer. And even though this is kind of tailored for a graphic designer, you could plug in any skill you have. So anyone could use this template because you do get to customize it and make it your own. Here's another example for photography. This one's really beautiful. As you can see, we have a ton of options. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one called Filmmaking Portfolio. And as I watch it, I can see that there are nine slots where I'm gonna to have to fill in my own videos. So I can just go back through the video clips that I selected and make sure that I have enough. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit use this template. So now I've got the template open and I have a few of the videos that I wanna use uploaded to my video account already, but to upload a few more, I'm just gonna hit upload media. So for this first slide, I wanna pick out my strongest video example. So once I have that picked out, I'm just gonna drag it on top of the video that's already there. And then I'm gonna hit replace. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change the text just so it says the title of my film. All right, moving on to the next slide. Now here I have two slots to put my videos and I might wanna pick out two that are aesthetically similar. For example, in the template you can see there's two black and white clips here. What I'm gonna do is put two kind of nice nature scenery clips that look really nice together. All right, and then my next slide here has three and it has a title at the top where you can put the category. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this documentaries. And then I'm gonna fill these in with three different travel documentaries that I've made. All right, and then I've got one more slide with four slots. So I'm just gonna repeat the same process that I've been doing. All right, now I've got all my videos in place. So what I'm gonna do is just go back through and make sure the template is completely personalized. So on the first slide, I'll put my name and of course the purpose of my portfolio. You can go ahead and put maybe your location. And then at the end, I've got slots here to put my website and my social media handles, which is super helpful. And then one more thing I might add is my email address. This is optional, but if you want someone to be able to contact you after seeing your portfolio, you could go ahead and put your email address or your phone number or whatever way you prefer to get contacted. All right, and now the final thing I'm gonna do to make this template my own is change the colors. So right now the color scheme is kind of orange and yellow, but I'm gonna go ahead and change that just by coming over to the right-hand side here and then hitting change project colors. So if you have specific colors that you like to use for your branding, you can go ahead and plug that in here. And as you can see, that changes it on the template over here. Pretty cool, I think I like that. But go ahead and play with the colors until you find something you like. 
All right, and then when you're happy with it, just come up to the top right hand corner and hit download and share it to save your portfolio. So now that you have an amazing portfolio, you should start landing your dream gigs in no time. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and let us know in the comments what type of video you want to see next. And if you're a video creator, you definitely want to check out our video where we talk about eight profitable video niches to make you money in 2021. I'm Teresa with NVIDIA and I will see you in the next one.